Good morning, everybody. It's 3.39 a.m. We're at 90,668 miles. I'm about 38 minutes late, but that's okay. Um, I just wanted to, you know, look over my content that I create and stuff like that. So that's what I spent this morning doing. But um, I want to, the important thing that I want to talk about today is that now that the election is over, we know who's going to be the next president of the United States. Um, it's time to get back to the grind. And, and I want to say this because I say this a lot and I want to say it again. My net worth is not high enough for me to worry about world issues or all these other things. Like right now, my biggest focus is trying to get my life in order first, making sure that I get my head above water, right? I want to make sure that I have no debt. I want to have six to 12 months worth of my living expenses in a checking account or like any sort of high yield savings account so that if an emergency were to happen, I would air quote, lose my job. I have that ready to go. And then once and only after I have all that set up, then I can take the rest of my money and start learning how to build healthy investments by acquiring assets and not liabilities. I'm saying this because I want you guys to be financially educated. Now keep saying it again and again, because I don't want to see you guys working 40 years at a job that you hate. It doesn't make any sense. If you don't like it, change it. But if you're saying that, oh, I can't change it. Well, develop the skills so that you can change it. Okay. Because for me, I'm not going to wait for some president or some person in government or whatever it is to come save me. Like, I really hate this stupid victim mentality BS that they teach in school, in academia, in media, over social media. Like, it's really disgusting. And so the biggest reason why I pound so hard every single day is because I know the future organization, the future businesses, the future business partners that I want, the people that I want to work with are people that are go-getters, are people that build themselves up, are people that don't just take no as an answer. They pioneer, they push forward, they keep on going through all the shit that life throws their way. Because those are the type of people that I want in my life. But guess what? Just because there aren't any of those people in my life right now doesn't mean I can't become one. So I say this because, you know, I want you guys to understand that this path that I'm taking, like, it's an extremely lonely fucking path. Okay? Like, this is not something that everybody does. And I understand that. I get that. It comes with the territory. I chose to do this. But... You know, for those of you that come across this message, you're not alone. I'm out here fighting. And if we somehow, at some point in our lives, cross paths and link up, let's push each other. Let's push each other to go further beyond than what we're ever capable of. Seriously, I mean that. Because, you know, I know what it's like. I know what it's like. And I document this because I know that my message is going to fall on to like, you know, out of 100% of people, right? 99% of people are going to ignore this. And that's fine. I care about the 1% that will actually do something about their lives, will actually change their behaviors. They'll actually try to put themselves on a more disciplined path, understanding that delayed gratification is what pays out in the end anyway. It pays at a higher return than instant gratification. But other than that, I want to let you guys know that I love you guys very much and, you know, happy Thursday. Let's get it. You know, it's actually kind of nice seeing the apple orchard after all the apples have been picked. This is what it looks like with all the, uh, all the trees having been picked. It's pretty cool, honestly. All right, guys, it's 9.15 a.m. We're at 49 miles. We've got about seven hours and 20 minutes left of driving. Um, we're going to start charging right now because, um, we just before 10 o'clock is when the price goes up to 44 cents per kilowatt hour so we're gonna go ahead and do it right now it's 31 cents and in the meantime i'm also going to eat the uh, first half of my egg sandwich and i'm also going to be making content while the car is charging and then we'll finish up the rest of the day hope you guys are having a wonderful uh thursday let's keep getting it All right, guys, we just have a little bit around two hours, two some hours of driving left. Um, it's 4.04 p.m. And we've got basically the last half of my egg sandwich I'm going to eat. I got a ride request. I got to take a look at it. I'll see you guys soon. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I'd work for all my life. And I had to start again. 
just my children and my wife I thank my lucky stars to be living here today where stands for freedom and they can't take that away Right, guys it's 7 37 p.m i'm here so late we're at 53 miles the only reason why is because um i tried to use the destination filter but the problem is is that it's so broken sometimes where it doesn't filter trips towards king of prussia it literally took me all the way back towards uh just outside of the airport on Lindbergh boulevard huh and it was a share ride too so i had to drive two people out that direction and then because I drove all the way down to zero minute, um, I didn't, you know, I had to drive the entire ride empty all the way to uh, KOP, but it's okay. We're here now and we get to charge the car. So I had the, you know, I was just listening to music, to keep myself awake, but we're here now. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. This will be the final charge for today. And then we're going to head home, have dinner, take a shower and then go to sleep. Ooh. I want to make sure that I start Friday, um, you know, fresh. So again, hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. I am tired.